Hi everybody, welcome to Book Talk. I'm Book Club Mom. And uh, so yesterday I did something kind of fun and uh, so I want to tell you about it. Uh, it's all about this. So um, in a second I'm going to show you what's in this bag and uh, what I did. Uh, it's all kind of bookish. So uh, first I'm going to show you where I did it and then uh, we'll look inside the bag. Okay, so yesterday when I was at work, a little boy came up to the reference desk and he asked, he said, uh, excuse me, um, do I pay for the books first and then I can take them home? And uh, so I told him, you don't have to pay for the books, they're, they're free and uh, you just check them out with your library card and then bring them back. And uh, so he was very excited. And then about an hour later, he came back and he said, uh, excuse me and uh, normally see I'm in the reference department and that's usually like kids are over in the kids department so when a, like a, somebody young comes up it's just kind of fun and he said oh, how many books can I check out and I love getting that question because the answer is 100 so when I told him 100 he just was oh that's great so um, so that gave me an idea and that is what is in this bag so during a quick break from work yesterday, I took this bag and I just ran through the fiction stacks and I just started grabbing books. And uh, so, and then I didn't look at, I checked them out and then I didn't look at them until now. Uh, so it was just kind of like a random thing. And uh, although things, you know, you see authors that you've read something else by or uh, books that you've always wanted to read and, you know, but I did it within, probably within three or four minutes, I grabbed 10 books. So I'm gonna show you what they are. All right, the first one I grabbed is The Early Stories of Truman Capote, because I like Truman Capote and I uh, like short stories. So um, I definitely wanna read that. And this one. So Tracy Chevalier, uh, A Single Thread. I read uh, Girl with a Pearl Earring a long time ago and I haven't caught up with all her other books. She's written a whole bunch. And uh, so I definitely want to read this. One of my work friends read it and she liked it a lot. So. What's next? Ah, The Lying Room by Nikki French. And by the way, Nikki French is a married couple. They, that's their pseudonym. And um, Nikki Gerard and Sean French. And I read a book by them called Blue Monday and it was really good. So, um, I will definitely like to read that. So, so far I'm three for three, right? All right, what's next? All right, here's one I just kind of grabbed. I don't know anything about it. It's called We Must Be Brave by Francis Liardet. And it's a war story, um, sweep of the 20th century starts in December 1940 and it takes place in England. So um, I like, I just like all of that World War II stuff. And uh, so that's why I grabbed it. Or that's, I actually, actually, I really like the cover. So that was what really, because I did this in about two minutes. So, all right, what's next? Okay, Chris, now, if I pronounce his name wrong, please forgive me. It's Chris Bajalian. That's how I'm going to say his name. The Sandcastle Girls. I've read several books by him, and I've liked them a lot. And I've heard The Sandcastle Girls is really good. So, he's written, he, he has a new book out. And I don't know if I can think of the name of it. This was published in 2012, so it's, it's um, not a new one. But a couple people I, I've talked to have have liked this one in particular so all right what's next ah. sometimes I lie by Alice Beanie this looks good I just like books stories that have lies and oop, my head yeah lies and secrets um ooh, there's a water stain on here I'm gonna have to note that when I take it back um I feel like I already read a book by her. However, I don't 
don't see a list of her other books. It starts out, my name is Amber Reynolds. There are three things you should know about me. I'm in a coma. My husband doesn't love me anymore, and sometimes I lie. So kind of a thriller, and uh, I, uh, I think I would like this. So here's what she looks like. Okay, what else? Okay, so this is Paula McLean, Circling the Sun, and I read The Paris Wife by her, and I thought it was really good. And this one takes place in Kenya, or it starts in Kenya, brought to, yes, it takes place in Kenya. So um, set, I don't know much about it, but I grabbed it because I had seen this uh, on a book list, and uh, I just thought it would be uh, something that I would like to read. And three more. Okay, I know nothing about this book. Invincible Summer, but it's almost summer. Alice Adams, and it's a novel because I was only in the fiction section. And uh, Four Friends, 20 Years, One an Unexpected Journey. Sounds like a good uh, summer read. And we do have a long weekend coming up. So. Ah, The Glass Hotel by Emily St. John Mandel. Has anybody read Station Eleven? Because I read that for my book club and it was really good. So, um, and I remember when this came out and I, I think I checked it out, but then I didn't have time to read it. So that one, and then one more. And this one I know nothing about. Um, the Doctor's Wife by Elizabeth Brundage. And I don't know how old this is. It's kind of worn out here. This was published in 2004. So um, I guess I'll find out. So anyway, uh, have you ever done a book haul and a, in a bookstore? and picked out this many books or what do you do when you go to the library? Do you get a, like, a ton of books and then just sit among them and uh, read them all? Uh, we do have, like I just said, a long weekend coming up, so maybe I'll have some time to really dig into them. But anyway, I hope you're doing well and I'll catch up with you next time.